在你。嗯，好，我我可以听到我们声音吗？听，听到了。好，可以开始的。Om Magyana Tamaranda Sya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksuran Militanina Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Shremati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamane Namaste Sarasati Devi Goravani Pracharine Nervisesha Shanyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Vancha kaupata rupyascha kripa sindhu bhayevacha patita nam pavane bhyo vaishnavi bhyo namo namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare. We're reading the Sri the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita, and we're on the first chapter of the first part. And now we're beginning text number fifty-six and fifty-seven. So Narada Muni met a brahmana when he was at Prayag, at where the Ganges meet Suyamuna, and he thought the brahmana was a very great devotee. But the brahmana said, no, no, I'm not a very good devotee. You should go to this prop. There's another province nearby and the king there, he's a really a great devotee. If you go there and see how what the king does, you'll see he's really the, the great devotee. So Narada, uh, the, the Brahmana is describing about the king, and he said that this king always tries to please the Supreme Lord, and he performs sankirtan before the deity, and he chants the holy name, of different songs, different uh, arrangements of the Lord's holy name. And when he sings his songs, he will dance. 呃，对，巴曼呢就形容，呃，就形容了这位国王，他说这位国王呢，他总是在取悦至尊主，他从事了三 he dances and sings all these songs, and he can play also different instruments, and uh, his sons. And his wives, and his brothers, and grandsons, and the the priests in the temple, and the servants, and his ministers, and all the people around him. They also take part in the in in the singing and dancing. The king gets them to join in the sankirtan. Uh, but we should understand the king the king did not force all of his relatives that they should join in the chanting of the holy names and hearing about the Lord. Actually, all of these family members and relatives and assistants, they were all very, very good devotees. But 
他们自己也都是非常非常优秀的奉献者。Uh, the the good qualities of the king actually came from his devotion for Krishna. This king's beautiful qualities are due to his devotion to Krishna. I'm I'm not able to count all of his good qualities or describe everything about him. I I don't, I don't even know everything about him because he's such a great devotee. Hmm, just these. 呃，这些优秀的品质我都数不过来，我也都形容不过来，因为因为他是这么一个优秀的奉献者。So the Brahman, the Brahmana is explaining that this king's good qualities have this king's good qualities, which the Brahmana mentioned, are all signs of his being somebody who got the mercy. Of Krishna. Uh, this Brahman just explains that, uh, this, uh, this king, his all these beautiful qualities, are all signs that he has got the mercy of Krishna. So, this Brahman just explains that, uh, this king, his all these beautiful qualities, are all signs that he has got the mercy of Krishna. So, this Brahman just explains that, uh, this king, his all these beautiful qualities, are all signs that he has got the mercy of Krishna. So, this Brahman just explains that, uh, this king, his all these beautiful qualities, are all signs that he has got the mercy of Krishna. So, this Brahman just explains that, uh, this king, his all these beautiful qualities, are all signs that he has got the mercy of Krishna. So, this Brahman just explains that, uh, this king, his all these beautiful qualities, are all signs that he has got the mercy of Krishna. So, this Brahman just explains that, uh, this king, his all these beautiful And in the future, we're going to hear Narada Muni approach many different devotees, and each of the devotees will argue in a similar way. 以后我们将会听到。那的穆尼他就会接近到找到不同的奉献者，而所有这些奉献者呢，他们都会以相同的方式来驳倒他的这句话。Because Narada Muni wants to find the devotee who got the greatest mercy from Krishna, so each of the devotees will say, "No, no, it's not me. It must be some other devotee." They will point the finger to some other devotee. Actually, all the devotees who Narada Muni meets, they're all very fortunate. Even although they they have different levels of perfection, but they're all very fortunate and very pure souls. 实际上，拿的母女遇见的所有这些奉献者全都是非常幸运的。他们可能完美的层面不一样，但他们全都是纯粹的灵魂。So, Narada Muni recognizes the difference between these different devotees. Who he's meeting, and he, 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 he will. He's, he speaks. The devotees whom he speaks with are are, they're all different spiritually. Narada Muni 遇见的这些奉献者，在灵性上他们是有差别的。And he cannot; it's not possible to determine by material position. You can't determine who's the best devotee just by their material position. And this Brahmana, he would not have called the king. He, the, this king is from the, the southern region. He would not have called him a better devotee than himself, if the brahmana had prejudice that brahmanas were better than kings, better than kshatriyas. But the the brahmana said the king is a better devotee. So it, it shows that the brahmana didn't have any prejudice about social position. 呃，如果这位 Brahmana 他对对于
人的高低贵贱，按照人的社会阶层来划分人的高低贵贱的话，他就不会把这位呃。国王称为是比他更优秀的奉献者了。如果他已经有了先见、偏见，认为婆罗门就一定比沙地利呃要高等。Okay, so Narada Muni, after hearing about this king in the southern region, Narada Muni wanted to go there to see him. 拉的穆尼听说了在南部的这位国王的事迹之后，就想去见这位国王。国王。And when Narada Muni came there, he found all the people were always observed worshiping the Lord in a festival, like they were having a festival in honor of the Lord all the time. 当拉的穆尼到达那个省份的时候，他发现所有的人都沉浸在。呃，对主的为主庆祝节日的氛围当中，而且是呃，始终都沉浸在这种节日的欢庆当中。So Narada Muni came to the capital of the kingdom. He was playing on his vina, and he was surprised to see that things were even more, more splendid, more opulent than the Brahmin had described. 拿的穆尼就弹奏着他的维纳琴，就喜悦的来到了这个国王的首都。他惊讶的发现，嗯，这个情景甚至比婆罗门世间描述过的更为恢宏壮丽。So Narad Muni spoke to the king, and he said to the king that I, he said, "You must be the real recipient. You're the person who has received Krishna's mercy." 拿的穆尼就对这位国王说：“你、你、您一定是得到了圣主 Krishna 的仁慈的，你、您一定是真正的 Krishna 的仁慈的接受者。” I can see your kingdom is so opulent, and it has the best citizens who are all the most. They're all of very good character, and they're all religious and prosperous, and in knowledge, and they have devotion to God. 我可以看出，您的国王，您的王国是如此的富裕，所有的呃臣民们都是那么优秀，拥有拥有最杰出的品格，他们有虔诚心，而且他们一切都很繁荣昌盛，他们有知识，他们怀着对神的奉爱。So the indication of the virtue of the ruler is in his good qualities. Of his subjects, it indicates that the ruler must be very good because the, all the subjects in his kingdom have very good qualities. 那么一个统治者，他的德行如何，就可以从他统治的臣民，他们是否拥有优秀的品格判断出来。And the people of the kingdom, they. They were not just showing some culture; they were actually civilized according to the Vedic standard. This kingdom's 呃，实实在在的，确实是按照韦达的标准，他们实实在在的是，是文明的人们。And the 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 good citizens, they would all do their duties very responsibly. 这些优秀的臣民们全都尽职尽责的履行各自的职责。And they contributed to the welfare of the kingdom by working. By, it, by, by their working, they were able to contribute to the, to the welfare of the kingdom, and each was able to introduce Krishna conscious practices everywhere. 嗯，这王国的人民，这些呃王国的臣民们，他们每个人都通过自己的工作。
他们对于其他的普通大众的福福利，就做出了应尽的贡献，并且他们每个人都把 Krishna 之觉介绍到其他的每个地方。And they gave up pride, and they gave up all the bad qualities, and they gave charity by feeding sannyasis and hungry people. They also abandoned pride, abandoned other bad qualities. They gave sannyasis, sannyasis, and the hungry people provided food. In this way, they provided food for them. And they gave it their extra wealth they used to offer worship to the Supreme Lord. And they also studied the Vedic scriptures and they learned about the value of liberation and devotional service. And the people aspired; they all hoped that they would become pure devotees of the Lord. So in this way, they understood the goal of human life. That that they they realized. Oh, this way they were able to realize the goals of human life, such as religiosity, economic development, sense gratification, liberation, and pure Krishna consciousness. 这样一来，他们全都实现了人生的全部价、全部目标，也就是宗教、经济发展、感官享乐、解脱。So Narada Muni was playing his veena, and he was describing the king, and he was praising the greatness of the king. And、oh, Narada Muni embraced the king again and again. Ah,、uh, Narada Muni, he just sang his veena, sang, ah, praising the greatness of the king. So that king was ruling a big area, a big king, a big region, a big kingdom, and he worshipped the top. He worshipped when Narada Muni came there and spoke like that to him. The king worshipped Narada Muni and humbly told him. The king bowed his head down in embarrassment, and he replied to Narada Muni. 这位国王统治着呃，嗯，地域辽阔的疆域，他崇拜了这位呃，拿尔德穆尼这位伟大的圣者，嗯，他低下了头，非常窘迫的回答了国王，国王的回答了拿尔德穆尼的话。The king was very embarrassed because he did not like to hear himself being praised. So the king said to Narada Muni, he he addressed him as a you know, Bra Brahmashi, a sage among the demigods, Deva, was it Deva Deva Rishi, Devashi, a sage among the demigods, and and the king said to Narada Narada Muni he said. I'm just a human being with a short life. I don't have much opulence, and I don't have much to give others either. The king called Narada Muni as Deva Rishi, that is, the Ban Shen of the Great Ones. The king said, "Ban Shen of the Great Ones, I am just a human being. I am just a human being. My life is short." The king said, "I have no independence. I'm constantly attacked by fear, 
and ruled by the three miseries of material life. And the king said, I, I don't even deserve Krishna's word that in the future he might show me his mercy. And the king said, Why did Sister Narada Muni, why do you think? He said, you, You're wrong to think me an object of Krishna's compassion. So the king thought Narada Muni must have made a mistake by thinking him to be a, 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 a devotee who received the mercy of Krishna. The king, the king thought Narana Muni must have uh, failed to use his discretion in the proper manner. Before becoming a pure devotee, we have to get free from illusion. But the king thought himself still to be a, 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 under the control of Maya. And the king thought, I'm still just doing ritual duties. I haven't realized my relationship with Krishna. And the king thought he didn't even deserve that the Lord promised that I will show you my favor one day. So the king didn't think that was possible for him. He didn't think it could be worthy of that. In or another way, it could be that the king did not deserve, he didn't, he didn't, he thought, I don't deserve anyone to say that I have been favored by Krishna. So the king, he wants to tell Narada Muni, he's going to tell Narada Muni you should go to the demigods, they're much better than I am. Yeah, the king says to Narada Muni, the demigods, they really got the mercy of Lord Vishnu. Go on, 
Their bodies are very effulgent and they're always worshipped by ordinary men. And they don't have any sins, they're fixed in the mode of goodness, they don't have any distress, they're always happy. And, and they can travel and they can act just as they like. And they have the power to grant whatever a devotee wants. Their, for their, their food is the nectar of immortality. And the nature of that nectar, it, it takes away all the miseries of material life like death, old age and disease. And the demigods, they're not, the demigods are not hungry or thirsty, but they also enjoy and they get great satisfaction from that nectar, from that, that that special nectar of immortality. Even though they're not hungry or thirsty, they enjoy that nectar of immortality. So the king says to Narada Muni, he says, oh, oh, godly Narada, just because of their good fortune, they live in, in heaven where with humans on earth can attain only, we can only get to heaven by being very perfect and doing a lot of pious work. But the demigods, they live there all the time. So the king's telling Narada Muni that the demigods, they're the most favored, they're the ones who really got the mercy of Krishna. And to show to show that Narada Muni how what he's saying is true, he compares the the ordinary human beings to the people in heaven. Human beings like the king, they know, they admit that the demigods are superior and they worship the demigods in the Vedic sacrifice. So the demigods are, 
They're not restricted like what people and the human bodies are. The demigods are free to travel as they like. They can even fly in the sky without vehicles. So, on this planet, there's pe some people are rich and powerful, some humans are rich and powerful, and they may be famous for giving charity. But the demigods, they have universal powers, they have much greater powers, and they can fulfill the desires of all the people who worship them. They, will, they can give them their desires. And these, these demigods, they drink the somaras, they drink the somaras, and that frees them from death, disease, and old age. And it also frees them from fatigue and perspiration, bodily odor, and so many other embarrassing things which we get from our material bodies. Now, so when we hear that the demigods are never hungry or thirsty, then we may wonder what benefit do they get from drinking the soma, somaras. The king, the king answers that they enjoy the soma rats very much, and their pleasure is more. It, it's different from. It's more subtle than ordinary sense gratification. Mm. The, the pleasure which these people are getting on the heavenly planets is of a much higher quality and it's more subtle and refined than just ordinary eating and drinking on, as it's done on, on this planet with our human bodies. So people on this earth, on this earth planet, the humans, you know, they're going to die. This is a planet of death, the place of death. But the people in heaven, they're immortal and independent and they're, they're very dear to Lord Krishna. 
球上的人类，他们都早晚终究有一天会死去，但是天堂上的居民们，呃，他们看上去都是永恒的，而且独立自主的，他们一定是对主 Krishna 非常亲切的人。So the king is going to indicate that actually among the demigods, Indra is the chief. So the king says to Narada Muni, he says that the most distinguished of the demigods is Puran, Purandra, Purandara, Indra. 国王对半神人，呃，对纳尔达说，呃，在这些半神人当中，最显著的、首要的是 Puranda Indra。Yes, Puranda.、Uh, and Indra has full power to reward and to punish, and he gives the world life by by because he controls the rain and he sends rain that gives life to the planet. 国王，嗯，有有充分的权利，可以赏赐或者是惩罚。他通过提供丰沛的雨水，给这个世界带来了生生机勃勃。So you should understand that Indra is a, just a position; it's a title of the King of Heaven. But this particular king, who is the King of Heaven just now, his name is Puranda. 要明白的一点是 ，Indra 是天堂的国王的头衔儿，而嗯，在而在他们说话的时候，这个呃，这这时候的天地 Indra， 他的名字是 Puranda。So this Indra rules the three planetary systems for seventy one. Ages, celestial ages, divya yugas. For seventy-one divya yugas, he's ruling the three planetary systems, Bhu, Bhuva, and Swar. These are the three planetary systems: Bhu Loka, Bhuva Loka, Swar Loka. 天地，因着他统治呃三个星系，布、布瓦、斯瓦格。统治这三个星系长达七十一个天堂，天堂呃，七十一个年代的循环。And even if the even if an ordinary king, if he was to perform a hundred horse sacrifices, still he wouldn't be able to have such a long life as Indra as a king. 即便一个世俗的国王举行一百次马祭，他也不能达到天地 Indra 的那么长的寿命。So Indra has a special horse which is called Uche Shrava, and has he has a mighty elephant called Airavata. Indra 有一匹骏马，名字叫乌差沙瓦。Indra 还有一匹强有力的大象，坐骑叫 Airavata。嗯。And his cow can be milked for any desire he wants. 他嗯，他的母牛可以，那、呃、因为就是可以被可以满足任何愿望，来提供牛奶。No, not nyona. It can be milk for any desire, not just nyona. Uh, he he has a cow. He has he has a cow. This cow, uh, he can satisfy. Uh, this cow can satisfy anyone's desire. And he has also a very wonderful garden, which is called Nandana. 嗯，天地英主还有一还有一座非常美丽的花园，名字叫南德纳花园。So the king is saying that among all the demigods in heaven, Indra is the most special 
person, he got the greatest mercy of Krishna. And because Indra is the king of heaven, he is able to curse and he can also give benedictions as he likes. But other demigods, they will only give whatever their worshippers ask them. So the king said, I'm, I'm just the ruler of a small kingdom, but the king of heaven he gives life to the universe. And he rules the three worlds for a, 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 a lifespan. His lifespan is so is beyond our imagination. So, according, ac theoretically, according to theory, if you perform 100 uh, Ashwamedha sacrifices, horse sacrifices, then you should be able to get the post of Indra. But even the king who is able to do that, his performances, that in, in trying to do that, in trying to perform a hundred sacrifices, it's almost certain that he's going to make some mistake. So Indra's horse and Indra's elephant are greater than all others because actually they came from when the demigods and the demons churned the milk ocean, that's where the the horse and the elephant came from. They came, they were produced from the churning of the milk ocean. So they're, they're not ordinary elephants or <laughs> horses, very special. And in, in the garden of Indra, he has desired trees like Parijata, whose flowers yield, they can give whatever one may wish. And these these trees have they, they they produce creepers which can also take any form a person may like. And a sing a single just one flower from one of those trees can satisfy all one's desires. Nasia Shumu 
It doesn't matter if you want if you want wonderful dancing or if you want beautiful songs and music or if you want to have bright clothing and ornaments and good food, anything else can give everything, whatever you like. Hmm. So the king says, he says, I, I, I cannot even describe how great Indra is and how fortunate he, he is. It's beyond my words to describe him. And the personality of Godhead Vishnu has taken the form of Vamana Dev, and in this way he's become the younger brother of Indra. The Lord Vamana Dev he encourages Indra by protecting him from dangers. And Lord Vamana Dev also accepts, he's personally there to accept the worship which Indra offers. So Lord Vamana Dev is not just Indra's brother, only in theory. But he actually behaves like a younger brother should do. And he allows he allows Indra the pleasure of taking care of him. And Indra insists on worshipping Lord Vamana Dev as God. And Lord Vamana Dev, he reciprocates by accepting the offerings in person. So this is the end of the first chapter of the first part of the Brihad Bhagavatamrita. This chapter was called Boma on the Earth. Okay, so chat the second chapter begins. The second chapter is called Divya or in heaven. And it just, we'll hear about how Narada goes to heaven to see Lord Vamanadev and Indra. So this is all being told to us. This is being narrated. We're hearing from Maharaj Parikshit, and he's talking to his mother Uttara. He's telling her what happened. So so Narada Muni praised the king and then Narada Muni went to heaven to see Indra. And he went to the 
assembly hall in the heavenly planets and he saw Lord Vishnu in all his brilliance surrounded by many different demigods. So in the first chapter, Narada Muni began looking to who is the most dear devotee of Krishna. And he found different people on earth who were also good devotees. Now in the second chapter, Narada will see the better devotion of Lord Indra and Lord Brahma. So, so Narada Muni went to heaven and he saw how Lord Vishnu was sitting. He saw Lord. Uh, Oh, who is it he sees? He saw Lord Vishnu, yeah. So he saw Lord Vishnu decorated with a lot of sandalwood pulp and different ornaments and garments. And he had also different flowers from the desire trees. And he was sitting comfortably on the back of Garuda. And he was worshipped with many different offerings. And Brihaspati, who is like the guru of the demigods, he was there and he he was also praising Lord Vishnu. And Aditi, she's the Aditi is the mother of all these demigods. She's there and she's also the mother of Lord Vamanadev. So she's taking good care of them all. Aditi and Lord Vishnu is pleasing everyone by his nice comments, by making, showing his care and affection for them and describing his comments. So everyone was happy. And there's different demigods from different planets and up there. There's people like the Siddhas and the Vidyadharas and the Gandharvas and Apsaras and they're all chanting prayers. Glorifying Lord Vishnu. And 
伴随人们有 C 达嘛 ，V 达达拉嘛，甘达拉，有知识仙、歌仙，还有玄秘仙以及阿布萨拉天堂的舞女，他们在线上祷文。And they were all praising Lord Vishnu. They were saying all glories to you. And they were singing and dancing and making music, playing music, just for the pleasure of Lord Vishnu. And Lord Vishnu said in front of everyone. Everyone could hear. Lord Vishnu told Indra. He said, "You don't have to be afraid." Of the dikes, the demons. He said, "Don't worry, I will always be there to protect you." Lord Vishnu 就安慰，因着说，你你不用害怕，白天恶魔们，我会在那里保护你。And Kirti Devi, Kirti Devi offered. Lord Vishnu betel nuts, and the Lord Lord Vishnu gracefully accepted the betel and chewed it. Kirti Dev 向主为什么献上了槟榔，而主就优雅的接过来，放在嘴里咀嚼。So Narada Muni could see all the demigods worshiping Lord Vamana Dev in the assembly hall. 拿的就看见，在半神人们在议聚会大厅正在崇拜主吧 ，Mother Dev。And Indra is the older brother. He's a, it's actually the assembly hall of Indra. Indra is the older brother of Lord Vishnu. 这实际上是英哲的议会大厅，而英哲是主的哥哥。So the demigods were following. One of two standards, which is mentioned in books about deity worship. The common standard is that they will offer sixteen different items for the pleasure of the deity. 普通的标准就是他们应该为了神像的快乐来供奉十十六样物品。And they begin with offering padya, which is water to wash the feet, and argya, water to wash the mouth. 首先是供奉 padya, padya 是滴足水，还有 argya, argya 是漱口水。But there's a more elaborate worship where instead of sixteen items, they can offer sixty-four different items. 还有另外一个程序就是，不是供奉十六样物品，而是供奉六十四样物品。So when the worship was being done at that time, Lord Vamanadev's mother, Aditi, held his soft hands and cared for him. In many different ways. When this Lord just felt worshipped, the mother of Aditi took Vamana Dev's soft hands in different ways to take care of him. And the Siddhas, they were reciting prayers. For the satisfaction of Lord Vamana Dev. Siddha 们，他们为了满足主，还在吟诵着祷文。The Vidyadharas they were playing different musical instruments. Vidyadhara 们，也就是知识仙们，弹奏着各式各样的乐器。And the Gandharvas they were singing. And the Apsaras they danced. Gandharva 歌仙在唱着歌，而舞女天堂的舞女在舞蹈着。So Lord Vamana Dev told Indra, "You don't have to worry about the demons, the dikes. 
because I'm here to protect you. And if necessary, Lord Vishnu is ready to kill all the demons. And as he said that, he raised his right lotus hand just to show that there was no fear. So Kirti Devi, she is the wife of Lord Vamana Dev. She offered the Lord some betel nut, which she had prepared for him. And he had the Lord, Lord Vamana Dev happily took it with his thumb and first finger and placed it in his mouth. So Narada Muni was very happy to see all this. He had come to the court of heaven to meet Indra. And, but he was the first thing he was able to see was the Supreme Lord Vamana Dev, worshipped by all the demigods. So it was quite suitable. It was quite. It, there was nothing wrong with Lord Vamanadev being worshipped because Lord Vamanadev is the most important person in the heavenly planets. So Lord Vamanadev not only showed his supreme position, but he also showed his favor towards Indra by accepting the worship. So Indra was continuously chanting the glories of the Lord and he was describing in great happiness how the Lord had helped him in the past. So Indra was sitting on his throne next to the Lord and he was shedding tears. Indra's whole body is covered with eyes and his eyes, all th his thousand eyes, they were all shedding tears. So because Indra is the king of heaven, it's natural that he will have his own throne. When he had his servants around him, they were holding all the different royal paraphernalia because Indra is a king. So they had a special umbrella and chamara fan and they were using all these things to worship Indra. So, 
Indra, he was worshipping the Supreme Lord. The, the, the Supreme Lord is his younger brother, but Indra was worshipping him. And Indra also spoke about the glories of his younger brother, the Lord, and described how kind his, he had been to him and to his devotees. And Indra described the special favors which had been shown by the Lord to his to them and to the devotees. Just like the Indra it was that the Lord, Lord Vamanadev, helped Indra to get back the heavenly planets because the, the, sometimes they lose the they lose the kingdom, they lose the heavenly planets to the dem the demons. When the demons come, sometimes the demons can defeat them and they take the heavenly planets. But then Lord Vamanadev comes and he helps them to get back the heavenly planets. 就就好像，比如说，主有的时候会帮助半神人夺回天堂的统治权，因为有的时候恶魔们会进攻天堂，然后就把天堂占领了天堂。Yeah, this happened like Bali, Bali Maharaj. He came there and he taken over heaven from the demigods. So Lord Vamanadi helped him to help the demigods get back the heavenly planets. So Lord Vishnu then went to his own residence. He has his own residence there, and Indra followed him for some distance. And then Indra came back to the assembly hall where Narada was waiting and greeted him and began to speak. So it would not have been proper for Narada to to go to Indra while Indra was still worshipping Lord Vishnu. Right. If Narada Muni had gone there and said, Oh, you've got the greatest mercy of the Lord, it would not have been proper because Indra was busy worshipping the Lord. But now that Lord Vishnu is gone, so Narada Muni greets Indra and he says to Indra, he said, Oh, all glories to you. Please accept my blessings. So we'll hear how Narada Muni praises Indra in the next class. Okay. Are there any questions? Yes. So the Rupa Madaji, your one tea. Oh, do we sell? Can buy Guru? Um 
别人看向看向外界证明自己的存在感，控制语言之后，发现自己好像失去了活着的意义。第二个就是在念诵和烹饪布萨达的时候。呃，包括与母亲和他人沟通的时候，都发现自己非常的浮躁、敷衍，不知道自己到底是在急什么。请问咕噜，我应该如何训练自己心平气和的沉静下来，念好、念诵好每一句圣名，做好每一件事情，说好每一句话呢？Okay. Um, Shri Rupamadji's question is that, well, while I'm practicing Mona, to control my tongue to not uh, to speak little. During the course, I found it uh, that I'm always living in according to the opinion of others, but it's very difficult. Uh, while I'm practicing to become silent, in that uh, pro process, I felt I have lost my sense of existence. The next part is that uh, while chanting, I well, I practice chanting and cooking prasadam, and and practicing during the practice, I found that. My practice is very superficial. Uh, sometimes I, I'm very, I'm in a hurry. I want, I'm in a hurry. I'm not peaceful. I'm agitated sometimes. So how can I become peaceful in in my speaking and de dealing with others, doing things? Uh, how can I? Chant good, chant the holy name. Even uh, chant good rounds, good uh, holy names, and do perform my uh, action very well, and how to speak very well. Yes, well, you have to be patient. All of these good qualities will come gradually as you go on practicing sadhana bhakti. You have to just simply become very steady in your practice of doing sadhana. In other words, chanting the holy name, you have to do it. You have to try to wake up early and chant the holy name. And you have to try to hear the teachings, read the books or hear the teachings. This, I mean, yes, sorry. This will help you. All of these things will help you to come, to get more peace and to become more steady in devotional service. Yes. You have to be consistent in your practice of sadhana bhakti. You have to be determined to maintain spiritual practice. Of course, you're with your mother all the time. That's not very helpful for your devotional service. Uh, 
because your mother is not devotee. 当然，您和您的母亲住在一起，嗯，这对您的灵性修行没有什么帮助，因为您的母亲不是奉献者。But at the same time, you can consider it's the arrangement of Krishna to put you in this situation to help you to work on your patience and your tolerance. 与此同时，您可以把这个情况看成是主库什纳的安排，嗯，他把你置于这种境地当中，让你能够更好的培养耐心，容忍的品质。嗯，然后他说，突然发现自己才是世界上最可怕的妖魔鬼怪、恶魔